I'm Chris Muir. Welcome to this introductory video covering the concepts of location-based services and how they relate to Oracle Mobile Cloud Service. Google Maps and similar services are, you'd agree, ubiquitous in mobile applications today. Since its introduction way back in 2005, we have come to depend on Google Maps, Maps and its mapping functions. But it's no longer 2005. And in 2016, with Oracle Mobile Cloud Services location-based services, you can lift your mobile applications from just showing, well, maps, to delivering unique business value based on the mobile user's locality. So imagine this. Imagine, for example, our mobile sales force is on the road using our great sales application to visit customers. Now, as you'd appreciate, in any modern city, they're often gridlocked, so it takes a lot of time to get around. Unfortunately, a customer has cancelled a meeting just as our sales team arrives. And rather than our team wasting their time coming back to headquarters, they'd like to visit any customers, say, within two kilometres, to make up for the cancelled meeting. But there's no point visiting any customer who just, say, purchased items from us. Rather, our sales team would be best to target customers they have visited, or haven't visited, I should say, for six months, say, who are more likely ready to purchase from us again. This is the sort of advanced capability MCS can provide. The ability for a mobile app, not just to serve up the location of our sales member or customer on a map, but to extend the app to query back customers based on their proximity and actual real business data on, say, in this example, sales opportunities in the user's proximity too. Okay, let's imagine this scenario instead. Say doctors are at a public hospital and they are equipped with digital tablets to allow them to efficiently work with digital paper records while in the hospital grounds. Hallelujah! Finally, the days of paper-based patient forms are gone. However, as there is a risk of the tablets being stolen, and the hospital policy is that patient records may only be accessed while on the hospital grounds, we can extend our mobile application to intelligently know about the hospital's boundaries, setting up a so-called virtual geofence, such that when the device leaves the hospital grounds, the app automatically disables itself, protecting the patient records from inappropriate use. Let's imagine one last final scenario. Every day, the London Natural History Museum attracts thousands of visitors, enjoying the, well, I remember the dinosaur displays and how great they were, amongst many other exhibits. Within the confines of the museum, without a GPS signal, imagine using localised beacons that talk to the museum visitors' mobile devices, communicating with the museum app that notes the visitor's location and, say, pops up relevant information about the Raptor display or any other display that the visitor is currently viewing. This means the museum can remove many of the old signs and replace them with modern digital experiences, utilising the visitor's very powerful own mobile devices. And we can even take this a step further and ask our visitors if they, well, like the Raptors because they've been looking at that display for a while, would they like, say, a 10% discount on all Raptor toys when they visit the museum shop? Hopefully you can see with Oracle Mobile Cloud Services location-based services, we can go far beyond just simply showing a map with a pin based on the mobile user's latitude and longitude or the location of some local shop. We can extend our apps to provide many useful services based on the mobile user's location, mashing that up with all sorts of really useful business data. This is really the next generation of enterprise mobile services at our employees' fingertips. It really is time to move beyond Google Maps. Okay, so let's distill these location-based services into the core concepts, what we like to refer to as locality, proximity, and vicinity. A proximity service provides contextual information of places that surround a mobile user's location within a set distance, such as this traveling salesman example we talked about earlier, where we not just reveal customers in the salesman proximity, but we mashed in business data into the query to work out customers that the salesman hadn't recently visited. Conversely, a vicinity service, such as the hospital patient record example we spoke about, is one that may be based around a geofence, for example, where we target the mobile user with personalised messages or services as they enter and exit that geofence. 
finally like the natural history museum example we spoke about a variation on the theme of vicinity services is the use of beacons when the mobile user enters the range of the beacon we can also provide contextual based information or services now this creates a nice point to talk about beacons in a little bit more detail because not everyone knows about them while gps is a great feature of mobile devices it does have some limitations Sometimes it can be inaccurate as the mobile device is having trouble obtaining a signal from the satellites. Or even if it is accurate, thanks to the limitations put on GPS by the military, it may not have the level of accuracy that you require for your app. And of course, GPS is mostly not available indoors either. So wouldn't it be great if we could use some sort of, I don't know, localized GPS? Say a set of devices that tell you, or more specifically your mobile device or apps, where you are without relying on GPS. And indeed in the mobile industry, such devices exist. They're called beacons, namely iBeacons or old beacons and eddy stones, which you can manually position and configure mobile apps to listen for across low energy Bluetooth. And indeed, here's an example I have of a beacon called a Rad Beacon Dot that supports all three beacon technologies. You can easily purchase these yourself. Great, so that's the introductory concepts of location-based services out of the way. Stick with us in the next videos where we're going to investigate how you use location-based services in MCS, including the server side and the client side SDKs.